Hey, hey, hey. Time for another out of this world story from our space. People living a double life always end up exposed. Today on our space, we learn that what's done in the dark always comes to light. Like in our first story, OP's high school sweetheart killed their chances of growing old and gray together. Wife caught using new open marriage as smokescreen for double life with girlfriend. Wife and I, 29 female and 29 male, were high school sweethearts, went to college together, professional school together, and are completing the final stages of our postgraduate training together. We have been married eight years and together for 15 years. I completed the finals training stage earlier than her and am moving to a phase of my career where I signed a big contract. And in a couple of months, my salary, currently 50K ish, will instantly increase five to six times and afford us a type of lifestyle neither of us has ever experienced. She has two years until something similar will happen for her. And she and I were unbelievably close to experiencing the rewards of all of our years of supporting each other and delayed gratification. I negotiated my contract to last until she finishes her training. And she and I would get to decide for the first time where we wanted to go and live our dream life on our own terms. About a month ago, she approached me and told me she was experiencing a confusing physical attraction to a female coworker and close friend of hers. She has historically never been attracted to other women. She felt sorry enough about those feelings to bring it up to me, and I believed it took a lot of courage to admit to herself and to talk to me about it as well, especially given her extremely religious conservative upbringing. We have talked in theory about polyamorous relationships, and although we have always been monogamous, she knew I have a firm belief that humans can have feelings for more than one person at once without those feelings being less valuable or less legitimate. She requested a conditional open marriage to explore these new developments in her sexuality. She spoke to her friend who reciprocated the attraction. We discussed the ground rules that we could all agree on to allow them to explore things in a way that was clearly designed to keep our marriage as the final priority, and all parties agreed to proceed with full consent. I initially created this account to explore polyamory and open marriage subreddits. Any negative emotions I was experiencing I interpreted as jealousy, which I needed to work through, and I started seeing a therapist with the specific goal of processing those feelings to allow my wife, whom I implicitly trusted, the freedom I felt she deserved. On multiple occasions, I even apologized to both of them for taking longer to get comfortable with the arrangement than I originally anticipated. I didn't need to do any of this for long because my rapidly developing suspicions that something was deeply wrong proved to be correct. After enough violations of our rules in a short period of time, coercing me into allowing her to push those boundaries further and faster than she knew I was comfortable with, and general sketchy, dishonest behavior, I couldn't ignore my suspicions anymore and looked through her phone one night while she was asleep. I felt genuinely awful violating her privacy like that, despite one of the ground rules of the arrangement being completely open communication, including the option to review each other's digital communication, which we both knew I never actually had any intention of doing. I found a staggering amount of unequivocal evidence that the two of them had been having an affair for an indeterminate amount of time, but definitely much longer than our open experiment. It appears they actually came up with the idea together in order to spend additional time together on top of what they were already doing behind my back. During the time I did know about, they were meeting far more often than I knew, having her girlfriend park down the street and sneak through the backyard to avoid triggering our security system so they could spend nights together while I'm out of town or working an overnight shift, lying about having to stay late at work in order to spend time together, as well as having frequent intimate contact in their workplace during their work hours. They were also intimate in our bed, didn't even change the sheets afterwards sometimes, which was a boundary that my wife herself had proposed we keep as something for only the two of us. Aside from crossing numerous physical boundaries and lying about the timeline, there were also messages in which they were making long-term plans for the next two years when my new job would pull me away from home to essentially live together in our house for a significant portion of the year, using my increased income to fund things they wanted to do together. Even more shocking was a clear pattern that showed my wife to be the primary instigator, aggressor, in their relationship. Several times her girlfriend showed some degree of hesitancy, to which my wife would tell her how she would fix this for them and that all she has to do was keep me happy enough to remain oblivious, and very soon they would have essentially free reign to have a life together. The texts I was reading sounded like some evil sociopath I had never met, especially not the love of my life, to which I have devoted 15 years. When I confronted my wife about this yesterday, she claimed to have no idea what I was talking about. Even when presented with screenshots of her own words, she continued to try denying that she was clearly having a prolonged affair that she planned to continue, and was going to use me for financial security while living a double life with a girlfriend. After hours of discussion, she finally admitted to everything. Obviously, I am completely lost right now. I have never made a single decision in my adult life that did not include thinking of us as a single unit, 
always working towards a shared goal that we were so close to achieving. I feel like I don't even know who this person is, and we have been together over half of our lives. Now that she's been caught, she claims that she has broken off her relationship with her girlfriend and is willing to do anything it takes to rebuild trust between us. To me, this seems impossible. Due to the nature of their jobs, she and the person she was cheating on me with will see each other on nearly a daily basis over the next two years, which will include multiple mandatory overnight stays together and potential to be assigned night shifts alone together for up to a month at a time. They have already cheated together while at work on multiple occasions, and my wife would text her afterwards about how she thought it was extra hot. Even if I reach a place where I want to try to fix things, in my mind, there is no way that can happen while the two of them are still seeing each other on a daily basis. Leaving her current job essentially ends her career, leaving her with six-figure debt and no way to pay them off. She is trying to come up with some system of accountability that will make it possible to trust that she isn't continuing her affair at work, but I cannot think of anything that would possibly give me the level of reassurance I would need due to the extreme and complicated measures she has already used in the past to deceive me and her clear ability to look me in the eye and lie in a way that made me believe her. So I am nearly certain we need to get a divorce. I wish I could say I was 100% certain, but I don't think my brain is capable of imagining a future without us being together. Despite knowing we need to split up, the nature of her affair presents additional complications. Her family is extremely religious, and there is a chance they would disown her due to her affair being with a woman. Her family has also seen the levels of love and support I've given over the years and thinks of me as a son. I'm probably closer to her parents than I am my own. Additionally, her workplace actions could either result in significant setback or termination, which would leave her with hundreds of thousands of dollars of debt with much more limited ability to ever get it paid off. Somehow, despite everything she had done, I do not want to burn her personal life, family life, and career completely to the ground. So I'm currently keeping it a secret from almost everyone else in our lives until we come up with an acceptable cover story for why this blissfully happy and successful couple suddenly get a divorce when we are on the verge of enjoying everything we have worked our whole lives to achieve. I feel like an idiot. I feel alone. And an anonymous wall of text on a subreddit is one of my only outlets to process the most painful experience of my life. Our first reaction comes from Odd Damage 4689 Additionally, her workplace actions could either result in significant setback or termination, which would leave her with hundreds of thousands of dollars of debt with much more limited ability to ever get it paid off. Take it as leverage on divorce settlements. She showed you her true colors. Don't waste more years of your life with someone who doesn't respect you and use you for money. Don't believe they ended. Prepare exit plan and lawyer up. You are still very young with good career and future. Keep screenshots if she tries to badmouth you in the future. Good luck. Scared to death 2022 says, this OP, do this before it's too late. Run before your promotion. Average Joe 78 adds, she saw you OP as an ATM to fund her double life with the affair partner, being the side piece and not the primary relationship. After so many lies and manipulations, you can't trust her at all and need to be prepared for a divorce war. Be clear with her that the reason of the divorce will be cheating and under no circumstance will you be the bad guy in this movie. You can negotiate with her that you will say it was a guy you didn't know with the condition of her having an uncontested divorce under your terms. Be fair, but use this as a token to keep her crap under control. If she doesn't like these conditions, well, she has the other alternative where you say the truth, you already are being nice to protecting her work. If not, you can even complain to her job and tell her family what happened. Wraith Luminos adds in, Sadly, as you have stated, there is no coming back from this because she is not the woman you thought she was. She instigated the open relationship as a cover for the affair and not the other way around. This should tell you that this whole thing was a very carefully thought out plan to deceive, betray your trust, and disrespect your marriage vows. She knew exactly what she was doing to the point that even her affair partner was clearly feeling guilty and she was detailing her plan to deceive you to keep you complacent and use you to fund their lifestyle. That to me as well as bringing her affair partner into your bed is the ultimate disrespect. Time to leave and let the chips fall where they may. She clearly had no remorse or guilt when lying to your face, so you shouldn't feel guilty or walking away from her. Tell everyone that she cheated, but you don't have to say it was with a woman or with who to at least spare her relationship with her parents and her job. When someone shows you who they are, believe it. Even if you manage to forgive her, you will never forget and you will never trust her again. Is this the way you want to live the rest of your life because even if she says the relationship is over, she's still with her 24-7? So you know as well as everyone on this sub that it is so definitely not. Good luck and put yourself first here. There are millions of loyal women out there and you deserve better. Our next comment comes from K Sink Sinlim. OP, I think you know what you need to do already, but I just want to bring one thing up. 
I do not want to burn her personal life, family life, and career completely to the ground. You are not the one responsible for this when you divorce. She is. Her actions brought this upon her, brought the divorce upon you, and these are the consequences. Let her pay them. The OP replies, thank you for your reply. The more I process, the less I think I should care about protecting any aspect of her life at this point. It's more just a force of habit out of spending over half of my life with someone. But something tells me I will learn to get over that. One more comment from Revolutionary Hat 688 She's only offering to fix things until she's able to dump you in her own terms. She's probably used you for more than just this one affair. Using someone for this long a time frame and the level of manipulation is staggering. I would say run before she gets pregnant and tries to baby trap you into a relationship that will always be completely one-sided. Get a lawyer to protect yourself. She didn't love you. No way does someone that loves you pull that kind of gaslighting and manipulation. I think that the two of them got off on it. It was part of the game. Mourn who you thought she was, but acknowledge that she never was that person and instead was a self-centered user who manipulated you into an open marriage to cover and fund her affair. Oh, OP, I'm so sorry. It sounds like she was looking for an easy way to live her fantasy life. She was definitely manipulating you. You are far too good of a person. If you are holding back divorcing her because you are afraid of wrecking her personal life or career, you need to remember that she made the decisions she did. You are not responsible for the decisions she made. You need to think of yourself right now. She was definitely conniving and planning a secret life behind your back. Rather than having the courage to end things with you, she wanted to hang on to you and use you for financial gain because she's not ready to face the consequences of her actions. That has nothing to do with you. Now is the time to be super selfish. It will be easier to go through a divorce right now than when you have more to lose down the road. If you were OP, what would you do? Thank you for joining us today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Also, please let us know what you thought of today's content. See you next time on Our Space.